Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PSP, Nintendo Switch, GameCube and Wii, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo GameCube and Wii emulation on Android with Dolphin. If you have an older, less powerful 32-bit Android device, you might like this news. So if you head on over to the Dolphin GitHub, which I will leave a link to in the description below, someone's got the 32-bit version of this emulator up and running. It's not going to run well, you will have to build it yourself, but it is available. Now it is worth pointing out that as far as I know, this is not going to be available on their website. They're not planning on supporting it, they're just making it available on their GitHub. If you've got a 32-bit device, chances are it's going to struggle mightily using Dolphin. Dolphin isn't the heaviest emulator out there, but it's not the lightest either. Emulating GameCube and Wii games with a 32-bit device is a pretty tall ask, but you can try. Next up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, and Skyline's got a couple of brand new builds. If you head on over to skyline one and click on Download, you'll see version 1907 and 1909 just released. These versions bring about more bug fixes, performance improvements, and Skyline Edge changes. Someone has Super Smash Bros. Ultimate up and running at a stable 120 frames per second. Absolutely wild. This person's got Katana Zero up and running at 60 frames per second on a Mali device. And this person's got Pokemon Snap up and running at a consistent 40 frames per second. Moving on now, and if you like playing GTA games on PPSSPP, you might like this news. Freakler has trophies up and running for Liberty and Vice City Stories. Now installing this plugin is simple and straightforward. It's 100% free, it's open source, it's available on GitHub, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. All you've got to do is just download it and then place it in your PSP plugins folder in PPSSPP and that's really about it. Moving on now, and if you're a fan of using Windows applications on a non-Windows operating system, you might be excited about this news. Wine, which stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Wine is not an emulator, just got a brand new update. The development version 8.2 just released. If you are curious about this one and you wanted to check out the change log, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. In this version of Wine, we've got a whole bunch of bug fixes and some minor improvements. And next up, we're talking about something that goes hand in hand with Wine, and that's Proton. If you've got a Steam Deck, if you use Linux, you're going to be excited about this news. A brand new version of Proton Experimental was released and it's got a whole bunch of fixes and a whole bunch of improvements. As for games added to the now playable list, we've got stuff in here like One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, Forspoken, Samurai Maiden, and also The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.